Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. Let me give you anybody who doubts it. Contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Look, folks. Well, Social Security and Medicare was mentioned in the State of the Union address last night, as you can see. So bravo to those of you in the Ram fam that signed that petition, urging him to mention these as a priority, as you can see he did. Now, before we get into the full footage, I've got the four minute clip for you so you can see the whole thing. I got a quick question for you. Let me know in the comments down below. What the president just did here, it was either one of three things, in my opinion. Let me know if you agree. It was either gaslighting by the president, where he's saying something he knows is not true in order to demonize the Republican Party. It's either misinformation, maybe he forgot what's unfolding here, or it is a warning to Republicans because he still thinks they might try to pull off cuts to Social Security and Medicare. Let me know your thoughts, because as you guys know, we've been following this throughout the entire year here. What has unfolded was the debt ceiling negotiations had brought in Social Security and Medicare as potential uh, funding cuts because it makes up about a third of the entire budget that they're looking at. And then we had heard Kevin McCarthy over the weekend say, listen, we're not going to be doing cuts to Social Security and Medicare. It is off the table. We actually want to strengthen them. So we heard Republican confirmation. This was not going to get cut. Then we actually saw President Joe Biden acknowledge that interview and that statement. And he said there were not going to be cuts. And he wanted to be the one to strengthen Social Security and Medicare. Kind of a nod from both parties. There's not going to be cuts made. Then in this speech, he comes out and states Republicans want to make cuts after they had already acknowledged that it didn't want to happen. So this is either gaslighting by the president, saying something he knows is not true, pushing a narrative to demonize the other party and make his party look like they're doing something good. Is it that? Or is it misinformation? Did the president forget that that had all unfolded and he's sharing something that maybe he is mistaken on? Or number three, is it that he still believes Republicans might try to pull cuts and he's warning them, do not do it. Let me know your thoughts. But that is the reason for the outrage that unfolded in the State of the Union address last night. And like I said, I'm going to share with you the full clip. And also, I'll just share with you a quick reminder of what Kevin McCarthy had to say uh, in his interview where he said, there will be no cuts to Social Security, and they want to actually strengthen the program so you can see it for yourself. Oh, and also stick around to the end because now we're expecting the Social Security Expansion Act of 2023 to arrive here very soon. That is right. The $200 per month increase to Social Security benefits is going to be reintroduced here very soon. Now, let's dive into the video footage. Now, before we do, do me a quick favor. Smash the like button if you appreciate the update. Subscribe to stay up to date. I'll let you know what's unfolding. We have heard that 2023 was going to be the year of Social Security reform, and it sure looks like it is shaping up to be that way. It is coming to the forefront as a priority, as it needs to be, because we're hearing that Medicare, Social Security, all of these funds, they're going to be running dry here very soon, and people need some additional help. They need to reform the entire system. I'll keep you up to date every step of the way, you guys. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Are you willing to consider any reductions to Social Security and Medicare? No, let's take those off the table. We Completely. Wanna, yeah. I mean, if you read our commitment to America, all we talk about is strengthening Medicare and Social Security. So, and I know the president says he doesn't want to look at it, but we've got to make sure we strengthen those. The one thing I want to say, we take Social Security Completely. and America okay. off the table. Some of my Republican friends want to take the economy hostage. I get it. Unless I agree to their economic plans. All of you at home should know what those plans are. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. Let me give you anybody who doubts it. Contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. And I tell you, I, I enjoy conversion. You know, it means if 
If Congress doesn't keep the programs the way they are, they'd go away. Other Republicans say, I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Look, folks, the idea is that we're not going to be we're, we're not going to be moved into being threatened to default on the debt if we don't respond. <laughs> Folks. So, folks, as we all apparently agree, Social Security and Medicare is off the, off the books now, right? They're not to be sponsored. All right. We got unanimity. Social Security and Medicare are a lifeline for millions of seniors. Americans have to pay into them from the very first paycheck they started. So tonight, let's all agree, and apparently we are, let's stand up for seniors. Stand up and show them. We will not cut Social Security. We will not cut Medicare. Those benefits belong to the American people. They earned it. And if anyone tries to cut Social Security, which apparently no one's going to do, and if anyone tries to cut Medicare, I'll stop them. I'll veto it. And look, I'm not going to allow them to take away, be taken away. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. But apparently it's not going to be a problem. Next month, when I offer my fiscal plan, I ask my Republican friends to lay down their plan as well. I really mean it. Let's sit down together and discuss our mutual plans together. Let's do that. I can tell you, the plan I'm going to show you is going to cut the deficit by another $2 trillion. And it won't cut a single bit of Medicare or Social Security. In fact, we're going to extend the Medicare Trust Fund at least two decades, because that's going to be the next argument. How do we make keep it solvent, right? Well, we'll not raise tax on anyone making under 400 grand, but we'll pay for it the way we talked about tonight, by making sure that the wealthy and big corporations pay their fair share. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. A lot of chaos in the State of the Union address last night. But the good news is they're saying that cuts to the funding for Social Security and Medicare is off the table. They have an agreement, as you can see. Now, we'll see what unfolds. And also, I let you know, Social Security Expansion Act 2023 is going to be re-represented again in the Senate here very soon by Bernie Sanders. And that is the one, that's the bill that has the bump up to Social Security recipients across the board of an additional $200 per month. Now, if you want the latest on that, check out this video right here. I covered the latest as it just came out last week. We're hearing it's coming back, you guys. So check this one out next if you're interested. But with that being said, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like, hit subscribe to stay up to date, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.